Coroner has concluded the BBC Radio Newcastle presenter Lisa Shaw died after complications of the AstraZeneca COVID vaccination. Lisa, who was 44, died in May, three weeks after being given her first dose of the vaccine. Well, our news correspondent Mark Denton was at the inquest at Newcastle Civic Centre this morning and joins us now. Well, Jeff, the inquest heard that Lisa initially developed severe headaches at home. She was treated first in hospital in Durham and she was then transferred to the Royal Victoria Infirmary in Newcastle where she sadly died. Now, in her conclusion, the senior Newcastle coroner Karen Dilks said it was clearly established that Lisa's death was due to a vaccine-induced thrombotic cytopenia. Now, that is a condition which leads to blood clots and swelling of the brain. The coroner said it was a very rare condition. Now, earlier in evidence to the inquest, we heard from Dr. Christopher Johnson. He was one of the doctors that treated Lisa in hospital in Newcastle. He said it was one of the first cases he'd seen where the underlying cause of a condition was, in his view, a complication of the AstraZeneca vaccine. Now, a pathologist who examined Lisa, Dr. Talmo Pavakovsky, he told the inquest that he supported strongly the idea that her condition was vaccine-induced. Now, Lisa joined BBC Radio Newcastle in 2016. She's previously worked for a number of commercial radio stations and won awards, including Breakfast Show Presenter of the Year when she worked uh, for the commercial station Century Radio. In a statement, her family said this is another difficult day in what has been a devastating time for us. The death of our beloved Lisa has left a terrible void in our family and in our lives. 